So today is a really special and exciting day for me because I'm in my kitchen and I'm about to make our potato and caramelized onion pierogi. And these are five ingredients, well, six if you count salt, which I do not. They are carb inside of carb, which I just think is a really beautiful concept in itself. And I love these and I think you're gonna love these. So go first. 380 grams of flour, plain, all purpose, whatever you want to call it. I'm using that. And 380 grams of it. I'm just gonna add that to a bowl. Add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Well, I'm gonna make a little well in the middle. And then I'm gonna add 240 milliliters of warm water. Um, I think 50 milliliters of either oil or melted butter. It's better, I'm using butter. Now you just wanna mix it with your little hands. Mix it till it's until a rough, roughish dough comes together. Oh, so it's like a rough, scruffy dough. I'm going to lightly flour the surface, my surface, this surface, and just dip my dough over. And we're just going to knead this now for a good six to seven minutes. We don't want to do that till it's a really smooth dough. We don't want it to be wet. It's um, springy. Did you see that spring? I'm now going to wrap it up and let it rest for 30 minutes while I make the filling. It's really important that you let that flour rest because we've just worked it a lot. Two onions, 400 grams, slice this in moons, half moons. No, this is a half moon. And a half a spoon. And a thin medium low heat. I'm just gonna add all my uh, little onions. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Heat. They're gonna take a while, but that's what caramelized onions are about. And let them be. We're gonna stir every now and then, but then we're gonna go do something else. While those onions are sizzling and caramelizing, we've got some tats. Peel these and cube them and then boil them. And I'm just gonna add them to the pot. Fill that with cold water and a lot of salt and bring it to the boil. Our potatoes are boiling, onions are still caramelizing. I put a lid on the potatoes and you're just gonna let those um, simmer until you can poke a, a knife through them really easily. A tiny bit of the water for the mashing bit, okay. Three, two to three tablespoons of milk. A tiny bit of that water. About a tablespoon of either butter or oil. I'm gonna fold my caramelized onions in and that's when the party really starts. Oh. So my dough is looking really rested. Um, and I'm now gonna put it on a fiber surface and just cut that in half. I'm gonna take a rolling pin and roll that out till it's half a centimeter thick. And you just wanna make sure you're always reflowering the surface so it doesn't stick. No one wants a really sticky pierogi. It's about, yeah, I'd say even that's less than half a centimeter. Well done, me. Use a, a round cutter or glass, you can use whatever you have, to cut out um, the pierogi rounds. A tray with that has flour on it. Um, to put your pierogi on, um, otherwise they will stick. Flour your hands, flour the surface, and I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna save that to roll out again. I fill. I dropped one this thing. And I'm gonna take around a teaspoon of filling. You don't need more than that because they they will be hard to fold. Maybe pull it slightly. Pull the top layer over the bottom layer. Use your fingers to push it together. So this is the first one. So I've got around 20 pierogies here. I've frozen like a third of the dough and the filling. Um, so I can make them again really easily without having to make the dough again. Five at a time so they don't overcrowd. And then I'm going to transfer them to this pan um, with a little bit of oil. My pierogi have floated to the top and I'm just gonna transfer them to the pan. I'm gonna just stir them around with a little bit of oil so they don't stick. Okay. 
after all that labor and love and care, I have my pierogies. I don't know if I'll eat all of them, probably. See how my self-restraint does. You should really, really, really go make these right now.